Hey there, everybody. I'm a rainbow. Ever since I put out my video on how to record your quest video directly to your PC, I've had a batch of questions uh, from folks on how to do different things. A couple of those has been, how do I live stream my quest? And that's honestly, it's not very complicated, especially once you can record directly to your PC. Once you do that, you've got half the process done. The other half is to stream it to YouTube or Twitch. Now, I'm going to walk you through those steps and show you how to do it. It's relatively simple. So come along with me and let's get this done step by step. Let's get to it. The method to live stream is almost the exact same as the method to record to your PC from Quest. I did a video on that. It's this one right here. That will get you set up. You're going to need OBS. This walks you through the process of setting it up and installing it on your computer. If you haven't done that one, go ahead and get that set up because I'm not going to walk through OBS setup again. Once you have that, go ahead and pull OBS up. In OBS, we're going to need a display capture. You may have created one already. If so, that's great. If not, go ahead and I created Display Capture 2 and then I called it Capture Display because I can't name them the same thing. This will grab what's on my display, like right now. We also want to add an audio output capture. For this one, we're just going to grab the desktop audio. We'll click on that, Exist, say OK add that and when you're actually casting you probably want to turn off your speakers uh, either on the computer or there but we, we're going to capture the output from them but we're actually we're just not going to have them on when you're ready go ahead and get your oculus up and running and then you want to cast your pc to do that pull up the oculus.com casting web page all that setup was covered in, in the other video, but you just remember you need to be on the same Wi-Fi and same router for that. Once you have it, go ahead and cast on your headset. It'll bring up the menu. You'll see it. It'll be in the square format. We're going to want to change some of these settings for it. The first one, we're going to turn on the headset audio so we pick that up. That's the little microphone icon. Then you're going to click on the little cog wheel and select widescreen. And you want to turn on the microphone so that the audio is actually streaming to your computer. And the last thing is you probably want it in full screen. You can do it this way and crop it down if you want. It's easier to just go ahead and put it in widescreen. That's those four arrows. There you go. Now you'll be recording in widescreen and you won't have anything you have to crop. It'll be ready to go. And now that you have your video and audio source ready to go, we need to set up YouTube uh, for a stream. To do that, you'll need to go to your account. You can click Manage Videos. That should bring up your content page or your dashboard. From here, click Create and then Go Live. Now, depending on your settings, you may have used this before, you may not. If you come up to anything, you just want to click where it says stream. And if you don't have anything there, you'll create a new and you'll need to populate it. So you'll have to edit this. Mine is already edited, but we're going to walk through that. Right now, we're not actually streaming. It's waiting for a stream to connect. Let's go ahead and click edit. You want to give it a title. You wanted to give it a description. You can be as elaborate as you want or as little as you want. You'll have the opportunity to edit this later. If you actually want your audience to know what's going on, you might want to fill some of that in. 
for this test and when you're just getting started, I would tell you to make it unlisted or private. I'm just going to leave it as unlisted for right now. And there's no restrictions. You can pick a category if you want. You can leave it blank. For a thumbnail, you can put any picture you want in there, something that you can easy to find because then you'll know exactly what it is. You don't have to have a picture. Also, you can add it to a playlist or not at that time. And then you have to select whether it's made for kids and no, it's not made for kids. Most videos are not made for kids because they have a lot of restrictions on them. And you can add tags. Mine just has some generic that are particular to me. You can put anything you want in there. All right. Once you have it, go ahead and click Save. I didn't make any changes, so I don't need to. I'm going to hit Cancel, but you want to hit Save. Now, your stream is ready to go. One of the things you're going to need where it says Stream Key you're going to need a copy of that. So go ahead and click copy. I'm not going to open it up and show it to you. Click, just click copy. You'll have that. You'll see it says it's copy to the keyboard. Now we're going to jump back into OBS. Now, one of the things you'll want to do is also go before you start broadcasting, you need to go to settings. When it comes up, go to stream. Yours may have nothing here. You want to select YouTube or Twitch if that's what you're doing. This is specific to, for YouTube, but it's the same process pretty much. Select YouTube. It should default to primary YouTube ingest server. And then you want to connect account and it'll have you log in and, and create your account. Mine is already there. Go ahead and click apply and you're ready to start streaming. But before you do that, let's go look at our output settings. And if yours is in simple, that's fine, but I would suggest you go ahead and turn it to advanced, and then you'll have a streaming tab, recording audio. And then go ahead and go to streaming. Make sure at, at least the first audio track is recorded. And I don't know what the default bitrate is, but set it for, say, 2,500, 3,000. You generally don't need to go higher than that. It will go up much higher, but it also uses a lot more resources on your PC. To start with, for a test, this will be, be fine. Give you an example. And if you're going to do any re actual recording while you're streaming, you don't need to because you can always download the stream and edit that if you want to do that. But you can also record. I'm not going to cover that because we're just dealing with st streaming right now. Go ahead and click apply and OK. And we want to manage broadcast. So go ahead and hit manage broadcast. You can create a brand new one if your account is linked. We're going to select existing one. And we'll go ahead and click on that right there because it's there already. And you can select broadcast and start streaming. But if you do that, mine has a tendency to fail for some reason. I usually select broadcast. You've got your Oculus hooked up. Be ready to go. Just hit start streaming. Down here, you'll get an indication that you're connected. Pay attention to your dropped frames. If you see you're dropping a lot of frames, uh, more than 10%, there's probably a, uh, an issue with your streaming setup, and you'll have to go in there and, and work on that. It'll tell you live how long you've gone. Let's jump back over to the YouTube. All right. You notice that was started and it began right away. So you're actually streaming right now. If you want to pay attention to it, you, you should listen to it. I'm going to unmute this thing and right away. So you're actually streaming. All righty. And you can just let this go. And to, you need to monitor, monitor this from time to time, and it's hard to do with a headset on. If you've got somebody to keep an eye on for it, great. 
Uh, chatting is also something that's almost impossible to do with a headset on. Usually if I'm streaming with my Quest, I will type something in there like something like that. Um, it could be anything. You could just say, hey, I, I can't do chat while I'm, I'm streaming. If you've got this unlisted or private, nobody's going to be watching to start with. Also, if it's the first time that you've streamed, you may have zero people watching. And uh, my suggestion is go ahead and practice a little bit, just like we're doing right now. It'll give you the opportunity to get familiar with it and things tend to happen and it's hard to manage all that with your headset going on. When you're ready to end the stream, you can end it here or you can jump back into OBS and just hit stop streaming. It'll give you a warning, go ahead and say yes. And I'm just going to jump back over to YouTube because once it sees that the connection is no longer there, it will say, hey, I'm not getting anything and it'll end shortly. So you don't have to do anything else. It'll end by itself or you can hit end stream. It'll be done right there. And I think it gives you 30 seconds or a minute before it will stop. I'll go ahead and hit end stream just because I want this. It'll say, go ahead, end it. It will pop this up. It will give you the opportunity to jump into studio and edit. That's a separate subject, but you can edit it there or you can just go ahead and dismiss, which is what I'm going to do. And it will pop this back on. This is the default one that we selected and it's just waiting for a connection. Let's go ahead and close this out and we'll go back and look at content and up here where it says live click on that and you'll see you've got a streaming test in here i did one before this and so i have both of them and if you want to do something edit the video down to something you can just download it right from youtube so you don't have to record and you can let them stream to it You can also get in there and edit the title. And you just save. And that's all you have to do to stream on YouTube. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck to you. If you have questions, please hit me up in the comments. Uh, hit me up on Discord. I'm always willing to answer questions and try to help you out if I can. I'm a rainbow. Y'all be good. Take care.